Hey everyone, April Dunham here. In this video, I'll try to demystify when to use the set versus the update context functions in Power Apps. But first, here's the intro. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is understand what these set and update context functions do. Both of these functions are used to create variables in your Power Apps. If you don't come from a programming background, let me explain what a variable is. All it really is, is a storage mechanism. It's a place that you can define to temporarily store an object. So both the set and update context functions in Power Apps enable you to create different types of variables. Now for both of these functions, you can create variables which store number, text, Boolean, and record values. Now these variables, while they let you store data, the data that's stored in them only persists during the session, so while the app is running. This is data that you'd want to use temporarily in your application before you actually go and patch it somewhere to your ultimate data source. Let's take a look at the set function first. The set function enables you to create what's called a global variable. This type of variable can be consumed throughout your entire application. So if you have an app that has 50 different screens, you define this global variable in one spot and you can use it in all 50 of those screens. Update context, on the other hand, is a local variable, meaning that this variable is only accessible on whatever screen that you define it in. Although, which we'll take a look at here, you can pass a update context local variable to another screen. Let's look at the context variable first. So in this case, we want to use a variable so that we can have a dialog box show. So when I click that trash can here, you see that a box pops open. And when I click the no, it hides. That's done using a context variable in this case. So since this dialog box is only gonna be used on the screen, I'm using a context variable. So on the on select of this trash can here, I'm using the update context function. And to use that, you will wrap it in parentheses and then curly brackets, and then you'll give your variable a name. So in this case, I'm calling it show dialog. Now, best practice probably would be for your variables to put something ahead of it so that you can distinguish if this is a local or a global variable. So you might want to put local and then the name of what it's doing. So local show dialog. So that way I know it's a local variable. Once you define the name of your local variable, you'll separate it out with a colon and then pass in the value. In this case, I just want to store a Boolean yes or no, true or false value here. So I'm going to set the value to true when it's clicked. I have a hidden dialog here. And when I click a yes or a no button, you'll see that I'm setting that same variable back to false when yes or no is clicked. With those context variables, we can also use them to pass them into another screen. So if I clicked on this pencil icon, maybe I want to go to this screen two here. So I can use our navigate function for that, type in screen two, and then here I can pass it in a context or local variable. So to do that, I'm just wrapping this in curly brackets, giving our local variable a name, separating that with a colon, and then passing in the value. So in this case, I'm passing in the selected record from my gallery. Well, now if I go to screen two, I can put in a label and I'll set it to that variable just so that we can see if it's working here. So I'll go here, I'll select this clock in power app. And now we see our label is set with the record. So that is a way that we can use those to move that value to a different screen. But a better way to do that would be to use a global variable instead. And that was done with our set command. So instead of doing this, let's just do our simple screen navigate here. And then before that, we'll use our set command and we'll set selected record just like we did to the gallery projects dot selected, but using the set command instead. So with the set command, you don't wrap it in curly brackets. You just wrap it in parentheses, give your variable a name separate it out with a comma and then pass in your value. So if we click that, we'll see that we're still getting that value there. But instead, this time it's a global variable instead of a local. So now you may be wondering, okay, I understand the different types of variables here, but still, how do I know when to use set versus update context? Well, here's what I've came up with to help you out on that. If it's multiple screens, set me please. 
not that complex, then use context. So what I mean by that is the set function in the global variables are best if the value that you're storing in it needs to be consumed throughout different sections of your app. So, you know, in this case, I'm getting the selected record here, and maybe I need to get data about this project in multiple screens and use it to concatenate or, you know, pass values to different data sources, whatever it might be. If it needs to be used in multiple places, then the set function is much better for that. But if in the case of our dialog box on this screen for the deletion, it's only applicable on one screen here. I don't need a dialog box for the other different screens. So that would be a good use case of the local or update context function here. If you wanna see what variables you're using, you can click on the view tab and go to variables. And you'll see your global variables have their own section here where you can see where they're defined and what their current value is. But for the local or update context variables, you have to click on the individual screens to see where they're being used. So in this case, on my gallery screen, I see I have two local variables that are initiated using the update context formula here. I hope this has helped demystify when to use set and update context on your Power Apps. Hope you enjoyed, like, and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video.